I know we want to touch on the integration and the relationship between Pites Battery and Solark. So Jonathan, can you kind of tell us the, the, the background? Where did this relationship start? Uh, so Jonathan, if I could ask you, could you walk us through, a, I, I see two different batteries here. Um, I believe this is the new V10 battery, and this is, is, a, is a modular stackable battery. Can you walk us through which, which are the two batteries that we're, we're exhibiting here? It means a lot of folks that are installing solar, they're installing solar with batteries, and they intend to use those batteries on a daily basis, not just yeah. for an er emergency backup. So how has Solark's approach changed the smarter way to go solar. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and today we're coming to you from RE Plus, which is the International Solar Conference here in Anaheim, California. And this morning I'm joined by Jonathan Pearson from Pites and Dylan Hillman from Solark. We're gonna be looking at the Solark 15 and the Pites LFP batteries. So gentlemen, good morning, thanks for joining us today. Hey Joe, thanks for being here. All right, now listen, I know one of the things that we wanted to talk about uh, of course, you know, for a lot of you in the audience, you're familiar with the Solark, particularly the Solark 15K whole home backup residential solution. I know we want to touch on the integration and the relationship between Pites Battery and Solark. So Jonathan, can you kind of tell us the, the, the background? Where did this relationship start? Yeah, absolutely. We've been working with Solark and Dylan here for a very long time. Uh, we actually started our relationship back in 2020 with our Ebox 4800R. Um, that battery was really our first product in the residential market here. Um, and what we've done is working with Solark, we brought it over to Dylan's facility, had the battery tested and realized um, with a high product quality like the Solark 15K and the Solark inverter systems, wanted to match it with a high quality product battery system as well. That comes at a great price point. So that's how we started our relationship, testing out the battery. And um, from there, we got our UL9540 with the Evox 4800R in November 2022. And from there, our relationship has really blossomed um, with several different products that we have. The V5, shortly after, we got the UL9540 for that battery as well. And the relationship has been so nice, you know. With Solar, a lot of our qualities um, together, we really care about installer, client-based customers, and high-level support. So it's really been a great match. Yeah, I agree. That's great. That's so, great. Uh, yeah, they've been an awesome battery partner that's really compatible with a lot of our applications and all of our residential models. So whether it's 12K, 8K, 15K, they're a solid option. And it's it's been a great relationship, as you said, for quite a while, and it's been smooth sailing ever since. So. You know, Dylan, one of the things I've noticed in the solar industry in the past 18 months or so is there does seem like some of the companies are, are pushing to kind of move everything proprietary under one platform, you know, whether it's the Solar Edge ecosystem or Enphase kind of has their own ecosystem. Uh, it seems to me that SolarC has been dedicated and stayed dedicated to being open and interoperable, working with other, other batteries. Well, wh why is that? And can you tell us a little bit more about why? Um, why modularity is important for Solark. Yeah, absolutely. So we, we like to give our customers the flexibility to go with whatever makes the most sense for their particular application. So we like to say we're the Swiss Army knife of the solar industry. So whether you're doing an off-grid solar install or you're trying to do time of use or peak shaving or whatever it is, the application, commercial, residential, we want to make sure that you can use all the tools available to you. And being open like that, kind of like, um, you know, it's kind of an Apple versus Android kind of thing. We want to be as open source as possible and, and let you do whatever you need to do to uh, you know, fix your application. Great, great. Well, for what it's worth, I have a Solark installed at my house and I, I do use a different a different battery with it. Um, and as part of like the, the 48 volt architecture gives you that, that flexibility to be able to mix and match best of breed individual components. Uh, so Jonathan, if I could ask you, could you walk us through, a, I, I see two different batteries here. Um, I believe this is the new V10 battery and this is, is, a, is a modular stackable battery. Can you walk us through which, which are the two batteries that we're, we're exhibiting here? Absolutely. Uh, thank you, Joe. This is uh, the Pi LV1. This is our stackable outdoor rated battery. Um, this is now available in um, the US market, which is really good. This, uh, the V5 and also the E-Box is our products that are currently available and that work with the solar converter seamlessly with closed loop communications. This battery in particular, I think is gonna be very good for the California market. Um, being an outdoor rated battery pairs very nicely with an outdoor rated solar so that we can keep all of our energy storage energy systems outside of the resident's house. Um, what's also really nice is the next iteration for their battery will also have a heating pad. So it'll be able to withstand more um, harsh temperatures and be able to be used in more applications as well. Great. Uh, Dylan, question for you here, because Jonathan had mentioned about 
Uh, you know, we're here in California right now. Uh, net metering is kind of a thing of the past here in California. It means a lot of folks that are installing solar, they're installing solar with batteries, and they intend to use those batteries on a daily basis, not just yeah. for an emergency backup. So how has Solark's approach changed, if, if at all, if it's changed, uh, to offering solutions to people that are going to use their battery storage on a daily basis versus in the past, maybe just uh, for backup or for off-grid purposes? Yeah, I mean, honestly, the products have been capable of doing exactly that for, for many years now. So there's not like a ton on our side. We have introduced a few extra settings that make it a little bit easier for folks to do that control um, on our side uh, and on the monitoring side to do a better job of that. Like uh, we do a, like um, revenue grade metering and that kind of thing uh, is available at request now that we, we brought that out. But overall, the units have been capable of that for a while, and it's, it's nice to see that it's uh, coming into fruition a little bit more in the market. Great, great. Now, Jonathan, what are some of the new capabilities available with, with the new wall mount V10 battery? I know I first had a, had a look at this a couple days ago. Um, I understand this can interoperate with the Solark as well? Yes, absolutely, Joe. So this battery we're really excited about. This is going to be our newest outdoor rated battery. Um, it's going to also have a heating pad. But what's also nice about this is it will have uh, fire suppression and also a um, start circuit. So if the battery is discharged too heavily from loads um, from using the solar converter, that we have the ability to just jump the battery to where it will have a voltage where the solar converter will be able to charge with solar or grid again. But we're really excited about this. This is coming out at uh, the beginning of next year, and it's going to be a great pairing for NEM3 capabilities. This battery is a 10 kilowatt hour, and coming in with the solar converter, it will pair very well the outside and work for the California market. So Jonathan, I understand you have an upcoming joint training that you're gonna be doing with solar. Can you tell us about it? Absolutely, Joe. We're really excited. We got an upcoming training in Houston Green Tech location, where we're gonna be co-hosting the training uh, with solar. So it'll be solar pipes at Green Tech Houston. And that'll be on um, September 25th of this year. So coming up very shortly. So hope to see you there. And if, if any of the installers out there want to sign up for that, is there a link that they need to go to or do they, they, they just show up at the Green Tech? Absolutely. So you can find that link on our website or Green Tech's website to get the link to fill out um, so you can make the event. Sounds good. Uh, Dylan, anything else that the audience should know about the interoperability pairing between Solark and Pites? Um, I think we pretty much covered it. It's it's a great option. It's a great price. It's very functional with us. We have a lot of installers using it, and I've, I've had nothing but good feedback about them. So they're a great option, uh, whether you're doing M3, off-grid, or anything, really. Sounds good. Sounds good. So, folks, this has been a quick walkthrough of the Solark 15K and some of the Pites battery options that are com compatible with it. Again, this is a 48-volt battery system. Uh, by the way, folks, if you're getting good value from the videos that you watch on Solar Surge, make sure you hit that thumbs-up button. Uh, and also hit that subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your feed and you can stay up to date with everything. But that pretty much does it for today's video. I thank you all for spending some more time on the channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.